Tesla Powerwall 2, Generac PowerCell. Which one is the best solar backup battery for your home? In today's video, we're gonna be answering that question and a whole lot more. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their homes set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And on this channel, we talk about all things related to uh, emergency backup power, solar energy, uh, off the grid living, and emergency prepping. And one of the things that we do with most of our projects is we use a solar power and battery backup system to protect the critical systems of the home so that day or night, rain or shine, those critical systems are never gonna be without electricity. Now, over the years, I've had a chance to install probably a dozen different brands of uh, battery inverters and battery uh, storage devices. And today I'm gonna be presenting a head-to-head -head comparison between two of the most popular battery products on the market today, the Tesla Powerwall 2 and the Generac PowerCell. Now, we're gonna be evaluating each product in five categories. There's gonna be five points for each category for a total of 25 points uh, maximum. Those categories are power, including both peak power and continuous running power. We'll be looking at energy storage capacity, the length of the warranty, the cost of the installation, and then finally, we're gonna be looking at what I call the X factor. Uh, and the X factor is uh, a way that we can provide additional points and additional credit to the product on features that are unique to that product where there might not be a direct apples to apples comparison, but it could have tremendous impact and benefit for you as a potential system owner. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the Tesla Powerwall 2 pictured here, uh, the power rating on the unit is 5,000 watts continuous load with a 7,000 watt peak load. Now for most residential home backups, that 5,000 watt power budget is going to be sufficient to run all of your critical systems like refrigerators, lights, bedrooms, uh, even home office equipment, TV, internet, computer, uh, and so forth. Uh, that means you can run just about anything that, that plugs into a standard 120 volt wall outlet. Now, when this might become a little bit strained is when you're looking at powering heavy motors and pumps, which for most urban and suburban homes, that's not gonna be a concern. But if you live in a rural area like I do, where you have your own independent water and septic system, and you have separate pump motors for each of those systems, that's where you might start to hit up against the upper limit of that 5,000 watt power rating. Uh, but it does provide 7,000 watt peak power, so you do have enough surge power. If you had to run a well pump, for example, uh, you could connect a well pump to this device uh, as well as your other standard 120 volt appliances. The Tesla Powerwall 2 comes in at 13 and a half kilowatt hours of energy storage per battery. And again, for most homes that are in a suburban or urban environment, that's gonna be enough to provide about 24 hours of running time for the home's critical systems. So long as we're not doing anything heavy like central air conditioning or any other heavy shop equipment, uh, a single battery unit can usually last about 24 hours runtime. And then of course you have solar coming in where you can recharge the battery as many times as you need. In terms of the warranty on the product, the Powerwall has a, uh, an industry leading 10 year warranty, which you're gonna see a lot of the top tier battery manufacturers are, are sticking with that 10 year warranty. So Tesla is not losing any ground there. And then as far as the cost, it actually is the lowest cost battery backup option that we have available uh, as of this recording today. And so uh, we'll talk more about the, uh, the power cell in the next segment here, but as far as cost right now, there, there is not a lower cost uh, battery backup add-on option than what the Tesla Powerwall enables. And, and the reason for that is because the Powerwall is an AC coupled battery. Now what that means is that the connection between the solar electric system and the battery storage system happens at the AC side of the system, the, at the AC circuit breaker panel. That means that if you have an existing home with solar power and you wanna add battery backup to it as an additional protection, all of that work can be done at ground level at the circuit breaker panel. So you don't have to rewire any of the solar panels on the roof or really make any modifications to the grid tied system at all. So there's a, there's a nice advantage there with that architecture. It also makes it very, very low cost in terms of labor uh, for the installation. 
And then finally, as far as X Factor, I give the Powerwall 2 two additional X Factor points, and it's really because of the elegance of the design. A Tesla design team and engineers have figured out a way to integrate the battery storage cell, the inverter, the battery management system, and the battery cooling system into one very sleek, very nicely, uh, aesthetically pleasing wall-mounted uh, appliance. And so I give it two additional X Factor points for those considerations. All right, now let's take a look at the power cell. All right, the Generac power cell actually has two major components that you're gonna notice at ground level. Um, you have the inverter component here, which is typically wall mounted in the garage somewhere close to your circuit breaker panel. And then you have the separate battery cabinet here. And the battery cabinet, you can start with as few as three battery modules, but then can expand up to six uh, battery modules if you need to expand your capacity. And all that fits within the single battery cabinet. As far as the power rating on the unit, the power cell actually has a much higher power rating at 9,000 watts continuous power, surging up to 12,000 watts for two seconds. And again, that surge power is what it, what it helps to get large motors started, uh, whether it be an air conditioning compressor, uh, a well pump, maybe a, a table saw, where you've got that huge inrush of power for a couple seconds just to get the motor started, and then it levels off to a lower draw. So with uh, 9,000 watt continuous and 12,000 watts peak power, that is a, that's a lot of capacity, which means that, um, again, if you're a more rural, uh, a rural homeowner where you do have well pumps, sump pumps, septic pumps, or potentially even central air conditioning, the higher power rating is going to allow you to handle that. In terms of the storage capacity, the starting capacity starts at only 9 kilowatt hours of energy. However, it is very easy to expand by adding additional battery cells. So inside the, the cabinet here, there's actually six different lithium ion battery cells and they're, they're made by Panasonic. So even if you only start with the three cells, giving you nine, nine kilowatt hours of energy, you could easily add three more cells, perhaps even uh, as a do-it-yourself project without having to, to have the installation company come back out. So it does give you some more expandability there, all with the single uh, the single battery cabinet unit. Now again, uh, we typically, when we design a renewable energy system, we want to plan for at least 24 hours of backup power. So if you're just doing the most critical systems with the, the starting out three battery cells, that'll get you close to 24 hours if you really, really limit it just to critical things like the fridge, the water pump, and maybe a couple of hallway lights. But if you want to put additional heavy loads on there, like central air conditioning, for example, then you're probably going to want to think about adding those additional battery cells to get up to the full 18 kilowatt hours of uh, uh, maximum potential here. In terms of the warranty, uh, the Generac power cell also comes with that sort of industry leading uh, standard 10 year warranty. So, you know, no ground loss there. And in terms of cost, it, it is a little bit more pricey uh, as of this recording, a little bit more pricey, about 20% higher for a total installation than a comparable system using the Tesla Powerwall. Um, however, given the expandability of the product and the fact that it could potentially be expanded on uh, by the homeowner themselves without having to have an installation company come back, does give it some advantage there. So in terms of X Factor points, uh, I'm gonna be giving the power cell three additional X Factor points. All right, so let's take a look at how these two products stack up side by side. Uh, starting first with the power wall, you're looking at five kilowatts continuous power with seven kilowatts peak power versus the Generac power cell offering nine kilowatts continuous power surging up to 12 kilowatts peak power. So clear advantage for the power cell here. In terms of power capacity, the Powerwall 2 comes in right in the middle of the range at 13 and a half kilowatt hours, which again, for most homes, that's gonna be adequate for 24 hours running time for critical systems only. The power cell starts off at only nine kilowatt hours, but with easy options to upgrade and expand up to 18 kilowatt hours in that single battery cabinet. Both have a 10 year warranty. The Tesla Powerwall has a slight advantage with a slightly lower cost as of this recording. Now we'll see if that changes in the future. And then in terms of the X Factor points, Tesla wins two additional X Factor points because of the, the elegance and the beauty of the product design, whereas PowerCell receives three X Factor points 
because of its ease of expandability, uh, potentially by the, by the homeowner themselves. So as we total it up, uh, I'm gonna award this a draw for the time being. And so I think the question that you really wanna ask yourself is, based on your individual environment, which product makes the, more, the most sense for you? Uh, again, if you live in a, a typical suburban or urban area where you're in a neighborhood and you have access to public utilities for water and sewer, so you don't have all those heavy pump motors to worry about, then the Tesla Powerwall is probably gonna be the better solution for you. It's a, it's a much smaller, much sleeker product that you can just hang on the wall in your garage, and that'll be enough to provide adequate backup power for homes living in that environment. However, if you live in more of a rural environment, like where I live here, where you have your own independent water and septic pumps to worry about, or if you potentially wanna run heavier loads like central air conditioning systems, then that's where the Generac power cell may give you better performance because it just has that higher, higher um, load handling capacity and easily expandable to give you more energy storage capacity so you can run more loads overnight when the sun's not shining. So folks, I'm gonna do this comparison again in the future as we've had more time to evaluate and more experience over the years to get feedback about these two products. But I'll tell you what, if you're getting good value from the information that we're putting out now, be sure to click on that like button and click on the subscribe button and be sure to go ahead and share this video with anybody else that you think will benefit from the information here. Of course, if you're interested in, in taking a look at either of these battery products to see if it would be a good fit for your home and get a plan to make sure we get all the critical systems in your home protected, feel free to reach out to us on the link below or you can just post a comment to this video. Well, folks, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.